So when we talk about where we are going, one of the most critical drivers is the state budget. How we spend taxpayer dollars should clearly reflect our priorities. These days, it's hard to tell what may or may not come out of Washington. The federal government is famous for creating a program and then withdrawing the funds years later, which leaves state governments on the hook. Our philosophy is that if the federal government decides to quit funding a program, then unless there's an exceptional reason, we will not continue to fund that program with state dollars. There has to be... There has to be serious thought given to how government provides services, and in Tennessee we started that process. But it can't be a matter of chipping away at the edges of business as usual or trimming back budgets. Primary example is Medicaid. In this budget, 10, 10, 10 care costs will be $350 million more this year than last year. That increase takes into account the higher cost of medical care, more people who qualify for Medicaid in tough economic times, and primarily the impact of the Affordable Care Act. Expanding Medicaid is not reflected in this year's budget. I'm hesitant to commit additional dollars to Medicaid when it's already eating up so much of our budget. And we have to remember what the state went through seven years ago when it made the difficult decision, many of you were, had to be a part of that, to cut a lot of people from the 10 care rolls. We have to be very deliberate about making a decision to add that many and more back to the rolls. But I also understand that the decision isn't just as easy as standing here today and saying, we're not going to expand Medicaid. There are hospitals across the state, many of them in rural communities that are going to struggle, if not close, under the health care law without expansion. And that's not something to take lightly. Most of us, not all of us, but most of us in this room don't like the Affordable Care Act. But the decision to expand Medicaid isn't as basic as saying, no Obamacare, no expansion. I plan to gather all of the information possible to understand the impact on our budget, the impact on community hospitals, the impact on health care in Tennessee, and the impact on our citizens. This decision is too important not to do that. 